What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Core Keeper. So today, oh, today we're picking up where we left off, but we did a little bit of things. Um, so I did play with Miss C over on her live stream. She was streaming over on Twitch. So if you're interested in checking out Miss C stuff, I'll have a link down below. And uh, your characters progress over to other saves. So I have a few things on my character that uh, we will get into and we'll talk about, but we did defeat the first boss on her save. So we're gonna go do that today. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. Um, but yeah, basic recap is we've played a little bit. We kind of know what's going on. So this episode should be fairly swift. Um, hopefully getting some upgrades, hopefully getting some new things, getting this boss taken out, like all kinds of things. But um, yeah, thank you so much for coming back. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. And if you're interested in Core Keeper, I will have a link down below as well. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. But let's go ahead. Let's get Miss Z into our game here and then we'll continue on. What is up, Z? Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. I'm glad. It's not I like I didn't realized... know that or anything because like, I haven't been around <laughs> you all day. <laughs> that's besides the point this is the first time we're seeing each other in core keeper in a few days it is it is it's been a while <laughs> it's been a while so we have tin armor now so yeah we've got a lot of uh upgrades and i kind of touched on a little bit of them but i figure we'll just kind of like explain stuff as we go okay sounds good um so first thing i think i think we need to go take out this boss like first stat right now what do you think Oh, you have a super secret sword. I don't have that super secret sword. Yeah, this is the slime sword. Oh, I forgot we have the slingshot too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, oh, we have so many upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is even going to be hard to do at all. Should we maybe make some Karak? Yeah, go for it. Things. Okay. So while you're doing that, I actually am going to explain something because uh, the something huge that we learned is the uh, the floors stuff. Our lava lava what the floor is lava no right what no. <laughs> i was going to say that you can replace floors if you pick up a, a dirt floor you can pick up a stone floor then you can place the stone floor wherever you want so that you can grow your rock carrots in here which is what we're i'm going to move some some stuff around so i can grow rock carrots in here remember we were talking about that Using yeah but the, it, it, it sounded shovel? funner saying the floor is lava though i mean Just, i, I yeah, guess okay. and then um oh and then also the slime that we can remove with with the shovel so yes, it prevents figure that out prevents the spawnage of new slimes that was kind of a that was kind of a nice thing to learn but yeah okay um oh yeah also the base probably looks a little bit different because we did we did play a little bit you know we tried to figure out some things because last episode we left off looking for tin but we found tin we know where it's at and we'll get into that too and then we started a new save and then we started a new save on your uh, on your live stream, which I already directed people to go and check out. So you're welcome. Thank you. They should join because we're probably going to play some more on that save. We probably are. It's it's a good time. And then I'm going to start. I'm slowly re redoing our crafting area because like I just don't like how the base looks. It's so unorganized. Oh my gosh. It's just not okay. You know. Okay. There's four Karak. Um crunchy berry puddings in there for you oh thank you okay all right looks good um i'm gonna make sure that i don't have anything in my inventory that i could lose oh we also realized that um the maps are different yeah the seeds yeah depending on what seed you use are you ready yeah. let's do this let's go i think he's got to be down here where is he i found him all right, so we're gonna use our amazing slingshots to and constantly to do damage. Oh you know, honestly, God. hold on. I'm gonna try using the sword because it's just slow him by 41. percent Oh, true. I don't have. Oh a my fancy gosh, sword it does like so that. much more damage too. Holy moly! This is going so much better. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we got him angry. He's dead. That was that was too easy. <laughs> we did the thing. Oh, that that's right. The guy's here now. Yeah, now we have a traitor. We have a traitor. Okay, so hold on. Let's look in the chest. Oh, so this chest is different. This it's chest not has all the same stuff. No, this one has slime ball. So we have the glurch eye. I'll grab the glurch eye, and then the slime oil, and I guess I'll grab everything out of here. But there's no uh, those those necklaces aren't here this time. 
Oh, I Last have time... one of the necklaces from. Yeah, I have a different necklace on. Okay, so we got we got our little trader dude here. Yeah, I think we probably should um protect him. Protect him, yeah. So we don't lose oh. him. Oh, I just hit him. <gasps> don't hit him. I, it was an accident. I didn't mean to. You probably can kill him. You probably can. Okay. Um, let me go grab some. I'll go grab some walls and some floors, and I'll make a nice, comfy little house for him that he doesn't have the choice to leave. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch him. I'm gonna light up the area, clean up some slime. Oh, there you go. That sounds like a marvelous idea. Also, we realize this slime on the ground breeds more slime. It does. So if you want to get rid of slime, get rid of the slime on the ground. Mm-hmm. And then a door. Ha ha! He is safe. He cannot escape. Yay. I'm even gonna put a wood floor in here for him. Oh, does he have the same stuff to trade? Yeah, he's got wood. I think what does he have? Listed off. Okay, so we can buy slime, wood, fiber, and copper from him, and we can sell him various different things like we can sell him valuables wait do you see this? so i didn't even realize this this slime oil a jar filled with slime essence used for beard care place it in a habit habitable room and a bearded character may move in what where did you get that that was from killing the thing i wonder if he's the bearded character Oh, we got we gotta try this. We gotta try we making get a new bearded character. Maybe we gotta try making a room that we can put it that we can put the the oil in and see what happens. I'm gonna go work on a room. Okay. Okay. Should I clean up all this slime, or do we want to keep some of these? Um, I don't know. Slimes. It's kind of up to you. I mean, there's slime like literally everywhere. So there's a lot to clean up, though. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Just leave it for now. You should just leave it for now. Yeah, you know, you know, I, th I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. You should. Okay, so I'm thinking, what if we just have a habit habitable room? Like, actually, you know what? We probably have to have it like this. He's gonna take over our bed. So, we can move our beds. Ah, there's a worm in our base. Is he? Where? Worm! Oh my gosh, don't- He's taking out torches! He's taking out torches! I hate those worms. How did he get in? I have a door. Did he chew through something else? Oh. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. There's a lot? There was quite a few, yes. Did they take out this wall or like... Maybe I, maybe I made a hole there and I didn't realize it. Okay, I'm gonna try putting this beard oil down. I wanna see what happens. So I'm going to place it right here. Okay. Beard oil has been placed. Uh, do we have enough for another bed? Do you need another bed for the beard oil I don't know. It, says a, habit it says a habitable room. I mean, like, I feel like a bed is like a, ne a necessity for a habitable room, you know? So, you know what? I'm actually going to pull these beds out of here. And then I'll make us a new bed place, and then I'm gonna place a bed in here. Okay, that'll be good, because it was kind of weird. You were gonna have a weird bearded man join our bed. This I know, I, I wasn't a fan of that either. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, perfect. New beds have been placed. We have our own little room over here. See, ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, oh separated God. from the weird beard um, guy. Can we, can we activate the glitch now? <gasps> yeah, let's do it, do it. Let's activate him. Glurch eye. <gasps> Yay. Yay. So now we can make um Gorn the Devourer scanner, Hive Mother scanner, and the slime sword. See, now you can make a slime sword. I think Gorm the Devourer was is, is the like big... the next boss. Is like this huge, like wormy looking thing. Yeah, it kind of looks like this statue right here. <laughs> I'm gonna say the hive one is this one right here. Yeah, that one looks scary to me. Yeah, they all look I scary. Want, I want a slime sword like you. You should make one. I don't think we have enough stuff yet. Oh, oh, we also need to make. So we've got to make some workbenches and stuff. We got to make some tin workbenches and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, we don't have the. Yeah, we don't have the tin workbench yet. 
you know what? Actually, we probably we have the stuff have, for it. Yeah, now that we have tin pickaxes, we probably could go back to that stony area okay. and get some more tin workbenches up. Awesome. Iron workbench. We need twenty iron total, and we've got ten so far. Okay, and then what else do we need? Oh, we need the tin anvil. So I'll go ahead and get that. I'm trying to keep these all in like an area together. Actually, let's do this. Pop that guy out of there. How much does it take to make the iron workbench? Uh, 20, but we, so we only need 10 more. Alchemy table, painter's table, iron workbench, railway forge. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna craft up some chests because we're gonna start needing some storage for some stuff here. I'm making some food because I'm about to go explore and go and get some more iron. Oh, do it. Now that we have iron pickaxes, we could probably get a whole bunch more stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gardening is getting leveled up. I have a 25% chance to gain seeds back now. Dang. Doing what we can with what we got here, you know. Hey, did we also mention how we did find the uh, the tin? I don't think we did. It's in the clay areas. Yes. Here, I'll, I'm going to run over to one real quick. Okay. Because, because we were looking. Forever. Yeah, we were <laughs> looking for ever. We could not find this stuff. Okay, so this area that I'm currently in is a clay. It's like a pinkish area. This is the. Oh, here comes our worm friend. Oh, you're way out there. Oh. I didn't, we didn't actually see him though. Darn it. Also, I think in the tin workbench, there was a cartography table. That would oh. be super helpful to have. So then we could see where each other has been. Yep. I bet you it allows us to like sync each other's maps up, huh? Yeah. Mm, I do like the sound of that. I want to redo our garden area too. It's driving me, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so this worm's hole goes in a perfect circle like around our base it's kind of crazy let's see if we pull up the map and zoom out it basically goes all the way around it's super weird i don't wait for this worm guy to come cruising by oh here he comes oh he's coming there he is <laughs> i found some tin Good job. I found... Are you getting iron right now? Is that what you're working on? Yeah, I found a little bit. You want to know another trick that I learned from somebody in the comments? What is that? So if you're going or going along, you're walking. If you hit shift, like you hold it down, it automatically puts the torch in your hand and you can place a torch down and then you let go shift and you go right back to uh, whatever you were holding, like your pickaxe oh. or your sword or whatever. Oh. Yeah. That is... Super helpful. Yeah, holy moly, that's awesome. Oh, hello. You're oh, back well, at the base. Well, hello. Yeah, I'm working on the farm a little bit here. I didn't, I didn't like the how the garden was laid out. So I have a few Karox seeds. I have four more. Are you planning to move those over here soon? Yeah, so not yeah. Them yeah, yet? I'm going to move okay. them over here. So I you can throw them into the a chest iron. or something if you want to. Okay, I have 14 iron that is going to be smelted. And then we can make the iron workbench. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna put like cooked food in the middle chest, and then the raw food's gonna go is gonna go on the outsides. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put my seeds. My oh, actually, seeds in this one. Yeah, put seeds in that one, cooked food in this one, and then raw food in this one. Look at you, you're so smart. Okay. Okay, so we've got the tin work. Did you find any iron by any chance? Yes, I have enough. I have enough bars in here um, to make the iron workbench. We're just waiting on tin to be smelted. We just need a few more bars of that. Awesome. Yeah, because I forgot. We also have what? Yeah, the carp carpenter table, the railway forge, the alchemy table, painter's table. Wait, there's no cartography table. Then Was it maybe in the iron workbench? Did we maybe make the iron workbench in our Maybe. Maybe. See, we can build it. You should build it. I'm not going to build it because I don't want to put it in the wrong spot. Just put it right next to this one right here. I, I will, I'll mess it's it literally up. Literally just right next to it. You, like, you know I'll mess it up. I will mess it up. I already know I'll mess it up. I don't just even know it. what. If you have the stuff for it, make it. All right, we'll make the iron. The iron workbench. Ta-da. 
Car what? work. Yep, there it next. is. Cartography table. So we need ten more iron. And we have an electronics table. Yeah, the electronics table. So I made that, remember? But it didn't have anything oh. like that we needed right away. It had a, like it had switches and circuits and stuff, but it didn't have anything that we could like control with it. So. So yeah. we need more iron and we need more tin. Iron and tin, yes. I am going to head out. We should make iron tools. When you get more iron, we should start off by making iron pickaxes. Oh, we can't. We have to get the smelter first because we have to have gold. What do we need for the smelter? Iron and tin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the east and I'm going to see if I can find any iron. To the some, east? You know what I'm talking about. I'm tin. I'm looking for tin. Oh, there's a we ton of tin over tin. there. Okay. It's a long ways over here. Just so I think you know. I might have already found some tin. Oh, oh no. you probably have. Tin. I haven't. So I was primarily going east. I wasn't kind of like working on getting tin. I was trying to get to. Um, so I've seen screenshots, you know, of the game. And I know there's like other areas that we haven't found yet. So I was trying to see if we could find one of those areas and see what's up with that, you know? We need a drill, like, so bad. I don't know how to get a drill. It's We've got to get it eventually. Well, it's it would be very beneficial if we could just, like, get it right now. It would be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I feel like this is the boundary. <laughs> um, It's a giant wall of, like, it looks like the same kind of things of the... um the like the core stuff is made of oh my gosh i think i found the worm i found part of its area big one yep the big the big boss the next boss person yep i found a uh, gold deposit though Ooh, nice so like if you keep going east it almost looks like there's like a a boundary next to this wall that like gets all open Oh my gosh, so many larva. So many larva. Sounds like you're gonna die over there. Oh my gosh, I probably should eat something. Oh, huge tin deposit. That's nice. Yeah, I think this is the edge of the map. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because like you can almost walk around the edge of the map. Yeah. So kind of neat. Oh. Our worm friend. Just went by again. Oh, wonderful. I found a swift feather. Offhand use. Dash forward at 200% movement speed. Wow. Can be equipped in the offhand. So how do you think we're going to have to take out that worm? Because I'm a little worried that it doesn't stop. And because every time it goes around in that circle, we can't catch up to it. And it kind of like it, it starts to regenerate. You know, I have no idea, to be completely honest. I was, um, I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. As I'm thinking that we proceed with getting iron stuff, see what's next. And then, because I feel like right now we're doing pretty good. See, I hmm? found a weird area. I found a weird area. I found a really weird area. Did you? This is like the scary area, like that I can't penetrate the walls. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so scared. You know, I'm, I almost wonder if that wasn't the boundary of the game. Oh my gosh, Z, there's a larva and it's red. It's red. Oh. Red team. Red team is bad. It's trying to kill me. <laughs> so I'm working on making a northern path now. Okay. Straight north. So. If you need to go north, I'm working on the path. I'm lighting this area up. And then, yeah, there's like a whole house over here. There's like, there's like torches. There's like sconces or something. And there's like a rug and chests. And I don't know what it is. All right, let's go check out this house, shall we? Um, It looks like there's a lot of bad people around here. Yep. Right here, look at it. This place looks so cool. Man, I don't know what's in here. A cooking Oops. pot. I found some stone floors. There's a chest. Oh, there's a healing potion. 
Copper pickaxe. Um, enrage potion. Do more melee damage. That's cool. There's a copper sword in there. I didn't take anything yet, so help, Why? You, help yourself. Why? Why, are you, why aren't you taking anything? Because my inventory is almost full. Mine's almost full too. And then come here. Come up here. Check out this next area. I like these like torches, sconce things. Come over here. All right. You probably can steal them. I'm, I'm going to. I have every intention on stealing them. But then I just ran into this area too. Look at this area. There's like a tabley thing there. Big blue oh, rock. That's cool. Oh, it looks like there's bad things here, though. There's lots of bad things here, but that's okay. None of these guys are really that bad to take out. I'm going to have to come back. My inventory is, like, completely full. And every time Same. I keep breaking stuff, I get, like, something different. Yep. Something that you haven't had before. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty cool. I know. There's, like, a whole area up there. You know, it would really be awesome if we can get a railway set up. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Especially for, like, how long that pathway is. Yeah. Did you see how... Oh, we don't have the table yet, huh? Yeah, we don't have that. The the real making thing. Oh, you want to check out these hive spike traps that I have? Oh, yeah. Um, You know what? I wonder if I... Should place them by this door over here where these stupid things keep stealing our stuff. Okay, the only problem is they do hurt our, us too. Oh, then just put them like on the side of the door, like where you're, like right there where you're standing. Watch out! See, that's awesome. <laughs> that's Isn't so, that cool. so cool. But if you go over them, I think they hurt. Yeah, they hurt you too. So there is a spike trap that we can make, and it's only one tin bar. What if we like lined up the whole entire area where that worm goes past with those things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could take it out that way. The only problem, I don't know if it breaks it or not. I don't know. Well, I have, I have three more of these, so I have five total. Yeah, that maybe that's how you're, <laughs> that's how you're supposed <laughs> to do it. Just line the whole corridor with them, and just like comes through and just destroys it. And I'm actually kind of curious. I'm gonna try getting a slime to jump on this thing. Oh, it killed a regular slime. It took two of them to kill it, but it worked. And they just retract. They reset themselves, so. I mean, if this works, I got, like, I have 18 more of those things, so. <laughs> I'm just thinking I'm it's going to break them. I think so. I don't know, because it's like a floor, please. So, like, because, like, I mean, the torches and stuff, it breaks the torches. The suspense is like killing me. Oh, I know. It's like I just want it to happen. I want to see. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. It heard it. And they're gone. Oh, <gasps> all of. Oh, my gosh. It just took Even them. Even mine are gone. It just stole them. And it didn't do that much damage to it either. Yeah, it didn't really do all that much damage. Hmm. We're going to have to rethink our plan. Yeah. Because that's not going to work. No. Why does it feel like I'm running so much faster than you? You probably are. Because I have... Uh, yeah, I have a minus 8.9% movement speed because I'm starving. <laughs> well, Missy, I suppose that's probably going to be the end of this episode. Yeah, I think so. I feel like we did a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're, we're just uh, we're gonna figure, figure out how we're gonna take out that worm. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, maybe bombs. Like we'd have to wait for it to like come after us and then like place a whole bunch of bombs down and hope for the best. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting for sure. I I ruined your floor. I'm sorry. I fixed it. That's okay. Not that worried about it. But yeah, thanks for playing with me, and I think we'll be back for sure. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do some research and come up with how to take this thing out. Or if the viewers have any ideas, yeah, yeah they can leave a comment. Comments down, down mm, below. Comments, all of the comments. <laughs> <laughs>
Awesome. Well, thanks for playing with me. Thanks for playing with me. You have a wonderful one. I'll see you next time. Bye, Missy. Bye. All right, and that's going to end it. Thank you all so much for coming out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Again, this is Core Keeper. And again, I will have a link to Missy's stuff down below. So if you want to check out her side of things, you go right ahead. But uh, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.